Hey there, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna make this title inside of After Effects, and then I'm gonna show you how to import it into Premiere Pro as an editable title. Let's jump in. So here we are inside of After Effects. We're gonna go ahead and create a new composition. I usually make my compositions in 4K, but for this video, we'll go ahead and make it HD, 1920 by 1080. We're gonna go ahead and call this graphic and hit OK. So the first part of creating an editable title in Premiere Pro is to create the animated graphic inside of After Effects. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's start by adding some text. Then I wanna put a box around this text. Go ahead and put that behind our text. And then we'll go ahead and select everything, get them all centered up. Now we're gonna start animating this. We go ahead and make a new null object. We're gonna call that motion. Select both your shape and your text layer. Grab this little swirly tool here. This is called the pick whip. And we're gonna grab that and bring it over to our motion. And basically all that does is parents these two layers to the motion of our null. So if I go into the position properties of our null and I just move that around, it'll move our text and our box together. This helps to keep everything connected so we don't need to copy keyframes and worry about messing anything up there. Let's go into our null and hit P. That'll bring up our position keyframes. And this is our end position that we want to be in. So we're going to go two seconds for now. We're going to turn on the keyframing. This will be our end position. So we'll go back to one second and we'll just move. And we'll just move this up a little bit. So now we have a basic animation like this that is way too slow. We're going to bring that in a little bit. So there's our movement. We're going to go then to make these keyframes feel a little bit better, we'll go ahead and highlight them and right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. Then while the keyframes are still selected, select this little graph editor here. We'll zoom in a little bit. And here are our keyframes and this is just a speed graph to show the speed at which the object is moving in between keyframes. So it goes from zero velocity and it eases up to the fastest speed and then eases back in. So we're gonna mess with this curve a little bit by selecting both of these keyframes. And then we have these little grab handles. So I'm gonna grab this one here. You can see how this shifts our speed ramp. So the animation will be quick in the beginning and then it'll ease into the final position at the end. Click out of there and then we'll, let's watch this back. Nice animation. Now we're gonna do the same thing to animate this out at the end. Go to about three seconds. We're gonna put a keyframe go kind of the same distance we have here, and then bring our null down. So it'll animate out like that. Then I'm going to select these keyframes once again, go into the graph editor, and I actually wanna change this. So I'm gonna bring this one back to here, and then this one up a little bit. Just like that, perfect. Next up, we're gonna use an effect called track mat. If you don't know what a track mat is, I actually made a video on how to use them inside of Premiere Pro right here. This is the exact same concept, only you have a little bit more flexibility inside of After Effects. So what we're gonna do is basically make a shape that's going to act as an alpha layer for our animation. Create new, solid. The color doesn't matter here. We'll just go ahead and call this track mat. Then what we can actually do is just grab these points and drag them down like this. Bring it up into center so it's just covering our animation. All right, since we have that made, now we'll drag our track mat down just above the shape layer. Then we'll duplicate the layer and put it above our name. Next, we're gonna grab our shape layer and our name click this little toggle switches mode till you can see the track mat options here. Click on where it says none and then do alpha mat. What this does is allows our text and our shape to only appear where our track mat box is. And you can see when you do the track mat, it actually makes the box itself invisible. 
So if we turn it back on, you can see it's right across the middle of the screen here. So when you watch our animation back, when the animation moves out of frame of that white box, it disappears. So one of the last things we're gonna do is click on the toggle switches, select all of our clips, turn on motion blur, and this is our finished animation. So our animation is complete, but when it comes to you creating your own titles, you can go as crazy as you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna keep it simple, and I'll show you some of the fundamentals that you need to keep in mind when you wanna export out to Premiere Pro. So now I'll actually show you how to export out of After Effects and into Premiere Pro. We're gonna go up to Window and select Essential Graphics Panel. Right up here where it says select a composition, we're gonna select graphic, because that's our animation we're working on. Scrub over to where you can see your text again, and we're gonna click set poster frame. And this will be the thumbnail that you see in Premiere Pro when you're looking for this graphic. We're gonna go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it lower third block. So this is the step where we can start dropping in parameters from the After Effects composition that we wanna maintain editability inside of Premiere Pro. So just think about some of the things that you wanna be able to edit. Obviously you don't want too many things because that, then it gets a little bit messy. So first off, we wanna be able to change what the text says. So we'll go into our text layer and then where it says source text, you can actually just drag this right up into here. Initially, it'll just show default whatever it says here. So on the left is the title and over here is whatever the text is gonna say. So right here, we can just write title. And then over here, we can put input name. And that'll update this right here. Now, since we've changed what it's saying in the graphic, our box is now too wide for our text. So we'll come it down here to the shape layer under rectangle transform rectangle and we'll uncheck the scale button here and we'll grab our scale parameter and bring it up here and we'll change the name of this to background scale and you will be able to scale it up and down but this is mostly just so you can scale it left and right as you change the size of the text we'll actually set a new poster frame so we know what it looks like inside of Premiere. For our title, we'll select Edit Properties, and this will allow you to select which properties are editable inside of Premiere Pro. Enable custom font selection, font size adjustment, and faux styles. I like to put them all on so I have a little bit of flexibility if I need to correct anything when I'm in Premiere. So we'll hit OK. And this will allow you to input whatever kind of font you want, and then you can change the size, and you can change the faux style if you'd like as well. Next up, we wanna be able to change the fill of the background. So we'll go back into our shape layer, go under fill, and right here we can grab our color and bring that up here. And we can call that background color. And this will allow us to come in here and even change this any way we want. And then we'll go ahead and set the poster frame again since we changed the color. For the sake of this tutorial, these are the only parameters I'm going to adjust. However, there are many, many more parameters you can put in here that allow you to keep editing it while in Premiere Pro. If you want to know a full list of all of the available options, you can just click this button here, Solo Supported Properties. And this will show you all of the different properties that you can click and drag up into here. So one thing you want to make sure that you do before you export this is find the end of your animation, which will be right here. And we're going to drag our end point all the way up here. Right click on the selected region and click trim comp to work area. Now when you export, your graphic will only be the length of your animation. So once you have all your properties in here and you have the animation the way you want it, and you have your correct poster frame and all of these are set, go ahead and click Export Motion Graphics Template. Destination will allow you to select where you want the graphic to be saved. Compatibility, this will just give you warnings if there are missing fonts or anything like that. Keywords will allow you to tag the graphic so that you can find it easier inside of Premiere. Once you're all set here, go ahead and click OK. Now let's jump over to Premiere Pro. Now we're inside of Premiere and we'll navigate over to the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't have the Essential Graphics panel open, click Window, come down here to Essential Graphics. 
So I saved my graphic locally, so I just have to click this local button here. Now I can scroll through these graphics until I find my animation. And here it is, lower third block, and I can just click and drag this down under the timeline. And there is my animation. To get to the editable parameters of this clip, we'll click on it. And then in the Essential Graphics panel, you just go over to the Edit tab, and here are all of our parameters that we set up inside of After Effects. So I can go here and put in my name. We'll go ahead and scale our background up. And I can go ahead and turn on and off these faux styles. If I want it italicized or bold, we can do that. And I can even change the font here. Say you have a different project that requires a different type of font. And this will allow us to scale it up to size however we want it. And that animation will play through seamlessly. So that's how I create graphics inside of After Effects for use in Premiere Pro. This comes in handy when you have projects for lots of different types of clients and you wanna make your own animations that can be customized to fit the client's needs in Premiere Pro without having to jump over to After Effects and change all the little things every single time you wanna use a graphic. Hopefully you're able to find something useful out of this video. I really enjoy making these and I'm hoping to find more time soon to keep making more. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on future content. Until next time, I will catch you in the next one.